How to Make a Halloween Tabletop Decoration Got old plastic jack old lanterns and no toddlers to tote them around on their trick-or-treat rounds? It's fun to turn those plasticized globs into something more useful and less plastic-looking. Instead of buying more Halloween decorations that look like the same thing everybody else is putting out, use those old jack lanterns to make your own unique ones. In just a few, simple steps, you can have an interesting and inexpensive decoration conversation piece. Steps 1. Hunt down plastic jack o lanterns either in your storage area or at your local drugstore. Cut off or pull out the plastic handle. 2. Decide on a paper or fabric to cover your pumpkin. It's fun to re-purpose something sitting around and used at your home, decorative napkins, tissue paper, newsprint, book pages, gauze, or fabric. Attach the covering to your pumpkin using Mod Podge Water Base Sealer, Glue Finish. You can apply a little Mod Podge directly to the plastic surface, lay a piece of your covering over the glue, then paint Mod Podge over the top of the covering. Continue until the entire pumpkin is covered. Overlap sections of the material being used for your covering. Apply approximately three coats of Mod Podge over the entire surface, letting each coat dry before the next application. Let your jack o lantern sit and dry for about 24 hours before moving on to step 3. 3. Hunt down various objects that can be glued on for the eyes, nose, and mouth. There's a good chance you will have assorted craft supplies or unused junk at your home that can be used. Anything can look work, depending on whether you want to create a sophisticated, fun or kooky design. Some items to consider are felt pieces, trim, rope, raffia, dried beans, beads, natural materials such as pine cones and gourds, hardware, and ribbon. You will think of many more elements on your own once you start looking around. Paint and glitter also add a nice touch, either as an embellishment or on their own. 4. Create a new jack o lantern face in the same general area where the old features existed. If your covering is not too thick, you can vaguely see the outlines of the eyes, nose, and mouth where the covering dips into their contours. Once you have decided on which objects you will use for the facial features, start attaching them with a glue gun. Keep in mind that the final piece can be more interesting if you layer various objects or add embellishments. Just have fun with it. The simplicity of a simple painted face can also be a successful object dart. 5. Add a new handle. Ribbon, wire, raffia all work well. Use your imagination, anything goes. Try to coordinate all your pieces to complement each other. 6. Assemble a whole family of these jack o lanterns to line up across your mantle. Or, stack up three of them to make a pumpkin totem pole that makes a nice centerpiece on your table or kitchen island. 7. Halloween decorating is very popular these days, judging by the amount of catalogs and stores selling heaps of Halloween-themed stuff. Rather than get pulled into the mayhem and cost of acquiring more stuff for yet another holiday, get rid of some of the stuff you already have and don't need. At the same time, you will find an outlet for your pent-up creativity. Tips Plastic gourds can be purchased in bags at craft stores, if you like the use of these pieces in the photo above. Mod Podge comes in matte or gloss luster. Either is fine. It's available at any craft store.